everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, as some of you know, I really enjoy uh, working a digital mode in amateur radio called JT65. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of uh, different software packages available out there that uh, you can download for free. So I wanted to give you those. <clears throat> so that it would save you a little trouble when you go go out there looking for something. So I wanted to show each one of them to you so that when you go out there uh, looking for software to work JT65, you can kind of muddle your way through the different software packages. There is one, one or two that I prefer to use. So let me uh, <clears throat> end with those two. All right, so let me show you the one that uh, does uh, both uh, JT65 and JT9. Now, there's not a lot of people on JT9 at this time, but it's an excellent mode. And the software that you want to use is uh, the one called WSJT-X. Let me say that again, WSJT-X, it's by K1JT. So if you'll just Google up WSJT-X uh, and then skip a space and put in K1JT, you'll go right to it. This is what it looks like. Uh, they all look similar. The layouts are similar. This one happens to have a separate uh, little... Uh, what would you call that? A waterfall display and a spectrum display up at the top. Most of the others incorporate that into the main screen, but this one has it up to, at the top. This is the only one I know of that does both JT65 and JT9. And as you can see down here, if you can read this little bitty type, uh, it's going to try to decode both of them at the same time. So this is the only one. If you want to work JT9, you've uh, got to learn this uh, software uh, in order to work JT9. It's uh, the most popular one out there that I've found. Now, I, I have not worked JT9 yet. Haven't even looked around for any signals. They're about 2 kilohertz above uh, the normal uh, JT65 signals. You'll always find JT65 signals on every band uh, at the dot zero seven six frequency. So if you're on 40 meters, you would go to 7.076. If you were on uh, 20 meters, you go to 14.076. And so forth, always at 0 .076, and it's always upper sideband. So don't uh, be fooled. You know, you go down to 40 meters and think that you need to be on lower sideband. You don't. It's upper sideband. All of them are. So uh, this is the one. If you want to play with JT9, you need to download this uh, WSJTX, and it's keeps popping up a little window telling me that it can't see the radio and it doesn't know what frequency we're on, but be that as it may. The other one that I have used infrequently and not really a whole lot is uh, JT65HFHQX. HQX. Okay? And this is what it looks like right here. Notice it, similar in appearance. You've got a CQ key, and you've got a uh, report key, and you've got a Roger, Roger, Roger key, and some other keys, 73, Roger, Roger, 73, and so forth. Uh, this one I kind of found uh, a little bit quirky to work. I haven't used it that much, used it a few times, and, and really did not 
prefer it, but you may. It may uh, be preferable to you. I don't know. But anyway, if you want to try it, it's JT65HFHQX. HQX. And uh, if you'll put that in a Google search box, then uh, it should take you right there to the software that you can download for free. Now, the two that are left are the two I use all the time. Some days I use one, some days I use the other. Uh, they're very intuitive and uh, decode very well and uh, simple to learn and simple to set up and I, I kind of prefer them personally. So let me show you the uh, one that most people are familiar with and that's this one right here which is JT65HF. Okay, if you just type in JT65HF uh, let me give you the latest version number. That might help you to find it. It's version 1.0.9.3. 1.0.9.3. So if you were to put in JT65, a space, HF, and 1.0.9.3, you'd probably go right to... Uh, where you can download it for free. This I use this one a lot. Uh, very simple, uh, especially the call, the response and the CQ call and the response to somebody else or the response to answer the caller is very easy. Uh, when it decodes, it decodes in this big window right here. And the people that are calling CQ are in green. And if you double click one of the green ones, uh, it will automatically answer that person and put that message right up in this block up here. Uh, if you are calling CQ, of course, you're going to click the Call CQ button first. Then if you get a response back, it will be in red. In red. So it stands out. <coughs> And uh, if you do get a response, that person's going to give you his uh, call sign and his grid location. Once that 48-second uh, transmission is over, you want to send him, that person a signal report. So you're going to click Send Report, and then it'll transmit a report to him. And then he or she is supposed to send you back a report. And once you get their report, you're supposed to respond with Roger, Roger, Roger. This is the long version. A lot of people will just respond with a 73 and call that the end of the transmission. And the other person will respond with a 73. But the long version is you send a Roger, Roger, Roger. The other person sends a 73. And then you finish it off with another 73. So let's go through it again. You call CQ. You get an answer. You send a signal report. You get a signal report back. You send Roger, Roger, Roger you get a 73 back and you send a 73. That's the normal progression of a QSO in JT65. And all those buttons are right here. All you have to do is click them and it'll transmit the 13 character message, which is the maximum that you can transmit. So this is one of the ones that I use a whole lot. Again, that's JT65HF uh, version 1.0.9.3. Now, about a week or two ago, I discovered another version. <clears throat> Let me kind of back up a minute and tell you that the one I just showed you, uh, there is some talk on the Internet. It is not going to be supported anymore. Ham that was uh, 
supporting it has uh, indicated that he has given up support on it. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know for 100%. So when I saw that, I said, well, I need to find out something else. And I stumbled, stumbled across a site that gave me JT65HF Comfort. Comfort, C-O-M-F-O-R-T. JT65HF Comfort, and its version number is 1.0.9.8. Now, right off the bat, uh, this is the one I've been using for the last two weeks. It is pretty slick. Um, especially the macro features, which are along the right-hand side here in a little separate box that you can kind of pin kind of close to it. These are macro buttons. The normal buttons are down here, all in a row. So again, there's your CQ, there's your answer, a re signal report, a Roger, 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 and a 73. So it's uh, very similar to, a to uh, JT65HF, the old version, the straight version. Uh, but it's got some neat pitch features, and the one I really want to show you is this uh, Macros. comes with a couple of three of them. As you can see, I've added four additional Macros. Let me show you how you do that. Go up here to Setup, <coughs> and of course you're going to have to put your call sign in and where the signals are coming from and your grid number and that kind of stuff, all right? But there's a little tab that says Macros. So you click that, and you can see I've filled out some of these already. So let's let's kind of make another one. Let's make one that says uh, uh, bad QRM again. Okay, now as you can see, I didn't quite get the uh, QRM in there because I mistyped being old. So let me fix that, and here we go. Now we can get the letter N in there. So bad QRM again. All right, so I might want to have that. So I'm going to come down here and say save settings and close, and now it showed up on this macro bar. So you can create your own macros, and if you click them, that's what will be transmitted. That's the text that'll be transmitted. It's really slick for macros. Didn't have to read anything or anything. Figured that out on my own with my very low IQ. So uh, didn't take much to figure that out. Wait, Some wait. of these other programs, uh, you know, you have to read the manual in order to figure out how to do macros. But this one, you don't have to do anything. Anyway, I encourage you to uh, try JT65. It's a very neat mode. Don't transmit more than about 20 watts uh, using just your radio. Remember, it's a 48-second key, key down, 100% duty cycle. And uh, if you transmit more than about 20 watts, you run the risk of uh, burning up the finals in your radio, possibly. Anyway, I encourage you to uh, get on JT65, use low watts, something between 15 and 20 watts, you'll be okay, and uh, you don't need a great antenna. A friend of mine, uh, one of my ham buddies, uh, John Elliott, has got a long wire attached to the top of his fence at about 8 feet high. He's in a uh, HOA uh, restricted area, and he's making contacts to South America and Europe and all around the place uh, with less than 20 watts uh, with a real marginalized antenna. So uh, great mode, and I encourage you to try it. It's uh, kind of slick and you can drink your morning coffee and eat a sandwich while the QSO is going on. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. 
four different free software packages for JT65. Check them out. You'll like it, especially if you're a geek like me. And like I usually say, I wish you clear skies. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night on this picture. Clear skies, everybody. 73. See y'all later.